Hello everyone, you may be watching now or later on YouTube, Hidian here, and for once not muted, along with... Turkey! And welcome to Something Sunday, where well, we'll be trying out two games, or at least try to, and maybe a bit more if uh, things turn out to be a bit odd or short. And yeah, the first one we're looking at is Photonica. I think I've tried this one before, and yes, it is, it's not a glitch. That is the game just being so quiet. And that's me running a bit of a test on the audio. Uh, because I have a fan right next to me here. Because, yeah, the heat is building up again. Uh, so, yeah, if yeah. things get too hot, I'll turn that back on. Uh, today I woke up around uh, just about five. And uh, shortly after, when the machine was due by the time I turned off, I swear I don't need to extend timer for it seems like my body as we say it is this thing them things timer as a long clock but anyway but once it turn, got turned off it was like yeah five in the morning still and it claimed it was 32 degrees in my room <laughs> okay yeah, was i have cool a physical outside. thermostat hanging yeah. over there so yeah I, I think this is the building that's very poorly ventilated it doesn't help that there is almost no wind here. Or where there is wind, just you keep into the trees and not where I am. Okay, according to that thing, it's 24 degrees over here at the moment. It's typically oh, above 27 or so that things start to get uncomfortable. Yeah, but again, this question is is it inside or outside? Uh... Yeah, the, the thermostat is inside at the moment. Uh, no idea how hot it'd be outside at the moment. Even, yeah, the, the sun is starting to break through the clouds at the moment. So that's probably going to rise. Ugh. Let's see. Hold any button to run. Release to jump. Hold again to land. R to restart the level. Okay, simple. I think I've tried this game before. What the? And... Yeah, this is what I remember. It's basically a wireframe <laughs> runner game. Okay, first time I saw a game <laughs> like this was a horror game. <laughs> and hold to land. Okay. <laughs> and complete fail. Oh, or not. Okay. <laughs> Oh, if we press, bonk. <laughs> if we, if we press uh, a button again, I'm using spacebar for this. Uh, <sighs> it, the heck, it's uh, when we're, if we hold it to land, we're going down as well. And bonk <laughs> again. Okay, this game is really messing with my brain at the moment. Yeah, we can quit early with it if needed, and it is apparently it is being quite loud at the moment. Yeah, now it's getting a bit more volume. Let me lower the volume a bit. Because Turkey and I typically seem to measure about minus 25 decibels on whatever. This is doing counting. And the game is going quite above that. Okay, don't know what that was, but <laughs> we got it. And we missed that one. We missed another. And we missed all of them. <laughs> I have no idea what the heck is going on, man. Oh, okay, that one was close. Are we speeding up? Are, I think we're speeding up with each of those that we grab. Okay. We're 
running along tracks. And that's that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we'll be going for this for a full hour. Yeah. Normally you can handle these sort of animations after a short moment, but if this is the entire game... Yeah, I that is why I've prepped it. other games as well. I, I just don't know how to react to all of this. I'm guessing this is sort of like a speedrunner's light game. Like, see how how quick you can get through the highest speeds you can get. We are underneath, and that's that. Uh, when th if this game gets too much, just say so, <laughs> because then we can just move on. I will let them know. Did I see another figure? Okay. Not the best breakfast, but. <laughs> okay, Ilya, I've heard of this before. I'm from the Russian team. I eat dinner at noonday. Yellow again, and <laughs> there goes the yellow. <laughs> the heck is that? Some sort of satellite or something? <laughs> We're too slow to grab on, anyways. <laughs> I don't think we could even grab on. We just have to land or smack us straight into whatever we're <laughs> going at. And in this case, <laughs> we're just falling through reality. Or wireframe reality. Okay. High road is preferable because then we can make mistakes without falling into nothingness. Oh, oh but how did we still get on that? this that's really, uh, I'm pretty sure this would not be my kind of game because I'm oh, are these some sort of launchers yeah it's not my kind of game either and it, this feels a lot more like something for uh, people who like to speed run or something or not maybe not speed run though technically this is speed running because it is fast running <laughs> yeah uh, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty sure this isn't a full price game or anything and let me correct something there if this game is supposed to be screening, I will not be surprised. Yeah, but one of the other games I have prepped is practically free. Yeah, okay, I was I was pretty sure we were going to smack our face into snap there. I only need to click that, uh, let me, about five hours ago. And fail. Okay, on the right it says, it says some stats, like, 
clear of points or speed, distance traveled, or no time elapsed, and speed as the last. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got this game on sale. Like many of the games I've gotten my hands on. If you just see something that is only like one or two bucks. Uh, oh, hello, I missed chat. Uh, but really is boost, pew, speed boost. This game hurts me too much. I'm going to go. I really can't do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe we should move on then anyways. <laughs> At uh, 15 minutes. Yeah, and if this is like the really is as well, then yeah, it is a line. Uh, yeah. Again, this something something Sunday is to try out some games and okay, it seems there aren't even that many levels in this after all. Oh well. Yeah, it's something Sunday is to try out games or show off games. So let's end that and go on to the other game, which should be a lot more easy to watch. <laughs> so it flashes so. me with complete white. Wait, what? Why is it capturing? It set this cat specific, and yet it's still capturing just. Eh? Okay. Can it? And of course, it doesn't want to show up in Discord for sharing. So, full screen off. Share. And there we go. So, okay, something is. Oh. Uh, <laughs> full screen, apply changes, and yeah, this is Galaxy of Pen and Paper, <laughs> the plus one edition from Steam. Uh, yeah, this is, ba this is basically a sort of sequel to another game called, uh, uh, what was it called again? It, it was also called Of Pen and Paper, maybe Knights of Pen and Paper, I think. Uh, that was a, it was basically a Dungeons and Dragons-ish uh, game. But uh, played as well an actual role-playing group. Well, yeah, I recognize that one. I don't think I've seen it recommended to me on a few times, but I don't think I really watched it. Yeah, I think it would be better to show than to try and explain this. So new game. Yeah, it's probably better. Also, I yeah. haven't played this before, but I have played uh, Knights of Pen and Paper, so I know how it, this works. All right. Or should work because I haven't gotten far into that game either. Everyone here, I think so. I can't see you though. I think my network is acting up. <laughs> Let me have a look at this. <laughs> Who will be the Galactic Master? Who will join the game? Let's see, create a character. Let's see, role player, romantic, wait, simian, gadgeteer. Uh, yeah, we can get our, we can make our own players, and that that determines the characters they play. Let's see. Have explore, romantic. They have power, body, mind, and senses as attributes. And let's see. Explorer. Wait, I need to check that asteroid. <laughs> Provider needs. That's that's the pizza guy. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> Bite the dust for the group. Sure, my whole life is a dark room anyway. <laughs> Anarchist, I do whatever I feel like it. You're not <laughs> you're not the GM of me. Yes, they are. And they have each have a passive. Against the da established damage system, <laughs> damage varies much more than the common folk. Okay. okay. Is there a randomized button here somewhere? I'm gonna be the best like no one ever has. Uh, that's Pokemon. And down here we have species, human, green. The event is a four dimensional space chest. Yeah. Simeon, big fist, and furry eyebrows. 
Reptoid, Slick in Words, Actions, and Scales. And the Mechan, Virus, and Rust Free. Coffee module not included. <laughs> okay, so ba we have the, the player here, and then the character here. And then their class. Let's... Let's... It's, we can start off with two characters, I think, like in Knights of Pen and Paper. So, let's go with one heavy. And... Let's see, let's focus it... Let's... <clears throat> I think this looks good. Uh, power, body, then we, the other character we make high in, in sense, mind and senses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we... <laughs> Uh, yeah, we need a name, so let's call this one Vakir. Come on, I will not be a robot, how dare you! Okay, we can customize the GM as well. Oh, randomize. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, there, we're going with that one. It kinda looks... Uh, wait, no, wait, not... Uh, that's my woman's body, I realize now. What's I said? That looks like you. Oh, come on. And apparently, we have a, a guest downstairs. Okay, let's see. We want something with high with points in both the, the last. Yeah, now you have to add yourself in here. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Storyteller. Well, I am trying, sort of telling a story here now. Let's see. So supports the power in a party and blows up stuff. Trips and music speed and traps. Okay, a lot, a lot less in these classes here. Like in Knights of Pen, Knights of Pen and Paper, they had like a, a dozen different classes, which made it a bit annoying to try and pick something that would work. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. Uh, wait, are we... Oh no, it's just role players just to the, the default run, so... Alien. Um... Okay. Okay, yeah. Why do I guys... have to be a robot? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone looking good. Uh, yeah, basically they're... Uh, <laughs> they're, play they're role playing over Skype. And uh, let's see, what have we in the We have a Star Destroyer over here. And PlayStation over here. And Ooh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure this is a reference to one of those old 90s sitcoms. Like that took place in the uh, <clears throat> that took place in the prehistoric era or something. I completely forget that's the name of it. And up here we have, of course, the Enterprise. <laughs> and yeah, these figures could be anything, but I'm guessing this one may be Lionel from. Actually, no, that these would be more fantasy related, which is probably why they're blacked out. Yeah, that, you said something about the dinosaur. Yeah, this one. I I yeah, am recognizing yeah, yeah. this, but I'm not. I can't name yeah, it. Yeah, no. I think the show was called Dinosaurs. Good chance, yeah, now that you mention it. Um. Okay. Now, let's see. So we're playing a sci-fi setting this time. Basically, the background of this is that they're, playing, they're holding a, a tabletop game over Skype or something. Yep, this is a new system by Cosmo publishing Derps, which is a, a pun on Gerbs, which is a for anyone younger, GURPS was basically a programming system that Sierra used a lot in its old games. From like the 90s or so, I think. Or, yeah, from the 90s. The Digital Universe role-playing spiel... <laughs> spiel? <laughs> it's German, of course. <laughs> Anyway, everyone ready to blast into space? I was born ready. JT Kirk. <laughs> okay, exactly a thousand years into our, in our future, in the year 29... 
Wait, oh, this is in 1999. 2999. Will make sense considering the console. Oh, yeah. We have reached the final frontier. Space. <laughs> okay, I should have made him... Uh, <laughs> I should have made him Picard then. We live in Tanzan, a sand planet located on the Green system. Anywhere you look, tall sand dunes stretch as far as your eyes can see. Nice, that's a pyramid as well. <laughs> the magic school bus? Come on. Wait, wait. Oh. And over here we have that uh, ship from Prometheus. Did this come out before? Okay, this must have come out after Prometheus. Uh, the Mars rover. The game, the game probably come out after Prometheus. Uh, this, it, or is this game new? It's somewhat new. Not like last year new or so. Maybe four years. Then it might have come before Prometheus. Over here we have a Gundam in the distance. Uh, that yeah. thing looks familiar. The Statue of this Liberty is... from <laughs> Planet of the Apes. This here is Star Trek ship further in the back. And, uh, oh god, is this not the, the dome thing from Mina Turtles? Uh, which one? Oh, you the mean the, the disco ball? Yeah, the big ball thing near the Star Trek ship. I don't oh, recognize yeah, that one. Boss. But I do recognize this one in the corner here. That's the same sh the pod. And this thing com this thing looks familiar to me as well, but I can't name it. And well of course there's there's <laughs> classic old school UFOs everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways then. Also something to note, our our characters at the table have changed into the in-game characters. And apparently yes, I'm wearing a beret I don't notice now. Okay, you guys live in Tanton Ship's graveyard. Yep. <laughs> Going to work. Do you want anything from what's with that get up? <laughs> I call this method game running. You know that will be for nothing if you haven't studied the core book, right? <laughs> what kind of third rank human do you thank me for? Alright, well, I'll leave it to your game. <laughs> okay, bye mom, love you. Back to Tanton, finally. <laughs> Alright, uh, Okay, this game is turning out funnier than the previous one, which should be somewhat expected, of course. Ahem, you live on Tanton's ship graveyard. You sold your stuff to buy a shipyard from Vestro, a local used ship, uh, spaceship dealer. Fortunately, you didn't read the fine print when you signed the contract. You are now bound to Festro until you pay him one bajillion credits. <laughs> what a rat. Hey, Defusus, Insectorists have holed up inside the storage. They refuse to pay rent, so kick him out. Okay, character choice. Vestro orders you guys to kick out the Mastroids in his storage. What do you say? Okay, this was also something new. Cool, you get bonus interpretation XP. Okay, now Vestor says, K -k 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 -k, I admire your petulance. But no, you're not. Now get to work. <laughs> okay, this is just 90s as can be. What the heck? Mission start. It had to start on the sand planets. Clear Vestor's storage shed from the invading insectoids who don't pay rent. Uh, yeah, these games are just silly as can be. Well, not as can be, but still silly. Yeah, and I don't know that you should sometimes have a sci-fi thing that starts on a jungle or something beside a, a typical snow or desert. Yeah, it's pre it's pretty much always a desert planet, isn't it? Yeah, the relocation has no one, but most majority is a desert. Or just a very rock and barren place. <laughs> We're sleeping here. So what do you do? Help us take down Vic Vestro down. Mm. I, like that. Okay. Uh, I 
pretty much, I very much doubt that these guys will do anything, but uh, yeah, he, he's a bigger annoyance to us than these guys now. Okay, whoever that is, he's no arachnoid. Leave us alone. Okay, sort of expected that. And yeah, here's this, this thing. We can set up our own... No, well, we're playing both the players and the GM. So we can set up our own uh, encounters here. It's, we can add as many enemies as we want. But we can also we, create battle. We should also be able to remove them. Like that, that by clicking there. And yeah, the, the more difficult the battle, the more bigger bonuses we get. Okay, that wasn't in the in in knights of pen and paper. I'll just keep. I'll just call it knights from here. Uh, in that, uh, yeah, you only really got. You didn't really get anything out of a higher difficulty. I think. Now, this is new. Derp's combat is pretty simple. Wait for your turn. Click an available action and choose your targets. One of you what to do now? Attack, skill, strategy, items. It's your move. Okay, so we're a bit like Pokemon with that. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Piercing Wait. attack. Is it on? Is this thing is from night, supposed to take the game night down at the nine? That means no sky. Mm, let's see. Oh, I wonder what map chat program they are using. Okay, up here it shows the turn order. Let's see, charge attack for SP. I should take this down in one hit, yeah. Uh, yeah, these are basically the space rats that any... <laughs> <clears throat> that any startup adventure starts with. You have connect shields on as long as they're up, your HP won't be affected by most attacks. Shields partially regenerate every turn. Be careful, I can't guarantee your safety without them. Okay, so, yeah, most of these sci-fi games have shields. Oh yeah, these things have barely any health. And there we go. Victory. <laughs> Fine, we'll leave. Don't you mean you'll buzz off? <laughs> Hope you're happy with yourselves, you home wreckers. Mob storage, wiggle out of the storage. Rolling down a sand dune that's probably scorching hot. Got the brightest one in the hive, huh? Let's tell us where we're finished here. My torch are gone. Good, you got some credits from them, eh? I'll take those to help you pay your debt. See, I'm only looking at for you fools. Kick it, okay? Uh, yeah, we need to stay in this guy's good graces for the moment. Hey, you're supposed to get angry when I take advantage of you. It's not fun when you act all indifferent. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's one way to... Uh, yeah. Not really counter bullies or anything or fight bullies, but often bullies are, well, bullying to get a response out of people. So if you just ignore them, of course, this isn't always going to work. Then at times they'll just get. Yeah, sometimes eventually they'll just get bored. Or worse, pissed off and more aggressive. I'll cancel your contract if you ever get hold of a spaceship of your own. Don't you own all the spaceships around here? Oh, that's right, I do. <laughs> ah, jackass. That night, you notice a star that shines brighter than the other stars in the dark sky. My, I wonder what that might be. Someday, we'll be exploring those mysterious stars. I hope. Okay, I was, <laughs> I was expecting him to immediately say, it crashes down next to you or something. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you have a better burger than this. It's a chicken burger, not fair enough. I had one of those yesterday. <laughs> okay, we've got level ups to deal with. Let's see. Automatic stats, stats upgrades, and. Okay, at level 10, we can equip another skill. Let's see what we have here Almighty Power. It's a passive one. Combat Sovereignty. Okay. Applies Mark status, deals 20 damage-ish. Your target has stunned, doubly amount of damage dealt. 
Hmm, raise your threat if you're targeting us, Mark. Okay, burst attack. That is going to be useful. Change your target's front backline and reduce its threat. Right? Change enemy. Okay, so these fighters sort of... <coughs> <coughs> are both uh, high damage and battlefield manipulation. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, wait, do we have all of these? Okay, we have all of these. So it's just a choice of swapping them out and unlocking more slots as we level up. Okay, that's interesting. Because I'm pretty sure in Knights you have to pay, you have to basically buy skills uh, yeah, this will be nice. I interesting. We have nothing to equip. Okay. Let's see, piercing attack. Okay, oh. It seems these are standard across all of them. Let's see, virus. Instantly applies poison status to target heals of your HP. If your target has poison, deal to that. Okay, spread the healing through your whole party. Okay. Intimidating, burning sense, loaded dice. Okay. Heat, <laughs> heat signature, come on. It's a signature in fire. I know, fight with chicken burger and tuna bread, glass of water, and a banana. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh. Tech support, <laughs> raise the shield gen of your whole party. Quarantine procedure. Which is actually actually next week or so, or in like three to four days. Um, a lot of the lockdown measures over here are supposed to be lifted. Like face masks won't be needed anymore, but it's still highly advised to keep distance. Yeah, I'm probably gonna use the mask for a bit longer. Yeah. Because every time I go into a store, I'll be just gonna take a walk there. I can skip the mask. But so far, I find annoying to go to the store, go to it. Then I need the mask then, but I have to leave my glasses at home. Yeah, they fog up. Yeah, and yeah, walking around with the glasses in hand and trying to see if it's like it's better, just better to leave the glasses at home instead. Just to free up the hand. Okay, moving back. Let's see what's... Plus 10 damage for all part lines in the starting point. Minus 10 threats. Threat is, of course, what determines which enemies get attacked, which allies get attacked and such. Space talk. You're adventurous, aren't you? Must be so nice, that. Discovering the wonders and secrets of the verse, its peep and its peoples. It is. There's a try too. Do you want to brace this guy whenever he speaks up? <laughs> Me? I should voice act in my robot. You don't have to make him sound robotic. Oh god, I, I can try. Um, Scoop up my mic. Well, yeah. The, what the heck was that? Well, yeah, the danger is involved. But you can take it easy at first. <laughs> no need to take everything at the time. I don't think I can do it. Okay, I'll do it then. Actually, you're right. I can go in adventures. I will sell my possessions and buy a ship. Hey, uh, don't go over. I, Rufus, will discover all the secrets the verse has to offer. <laughs> he runs off excitedly. No, there's somewhere else he's... No, there's someone easily excitable. Good luck to him. Hopefully we'll meet again. He's so getting in self-guilt. Mission creation. All right. Time to test the mission creation system. By choosing a mission type, mission giver, and setting, you can create all sorts of adventures. Okay, let's see what we can, what we can make, come up with. Okay. Reputation. Okay, I'm guessing this means how, which types of like, quests we can, yeah, we can make. So you can take, it's a use the space plot thickens. Campaign mission, start mission. Development day shows, festo shows up again. Let's see, that NTE protector could use a good scrubbing. Help, somebody help. 
Some guy wrapped in a towel is screaming for help. What will you do? <laughs> Give him a headlock. <laughs> uh, come on, he... <laughs> okay, he might seem that he came out of the shower, but that doesn't mean he came out of the university shower or, or the uh, football shower. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing pants? Who <laughs> are you to judge? Someone who's wearing pants. Stop wasting our time and get through the point, Kent. Is he supposed to be some sort of Superman <laughs> joke? He has that little swirl that the old Superman had, used to have, I think. Yeah, and I hated it. Someone standing, is sand, sending sand raiders to take over Crazy Camel. <laughs> sending. That's it. That's bad for businesses. Alright, Kent, I'll lend you my private soldiers. <laughs> Uh, just say if that essing is getting annoying. Uh, I can handle it. Ah, fine. Escort Mr. Kent back to Crazy Camel and take care of those sand raiders. You can take that ATV we scavenged last week. Wait, wait, why in the verse is the town called Crazy Camel? It's a long story. You don't want to know, trust me. Then uh, that is such obvious, people are going to ask, mate. In fact, let's just go. I'd rather face the raiders than think about it. Mr. Kent, join the party. Okay. Ow! I found it. Planetary travel? Okay, this is a lot better looking than in Knights. Okay, this is where we are. Interesting pyramid. <laughs> yeah, actual... What would this be called? Well, the same thing would still be a pyramid, just... Uh, yeah, the pyramid specifically is with four corners, I think. I think it, it, that's not a mask. That's not... It, 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 oh, there's four top shape like this. That's like pyramids and all that. They are also square from above, but they are going upwards in a way. Okay, the trouble with sand raiders. Is that a, I think that's a mix that is a mixture of Star Trek and Star Wars. Like sand raiders from Star Wars and the trouble with uh, from trouble the trouble with tribbles from Star Trek. But they uh. are ow! Bit your lip again? Yeah, I take that! You're Just supposed to bite into the burger, not yourself. I am, and it bites myself with one chewing. Oh, yes. I hate that. Yeah, if I'm gonna do voice acting sometime again, it's better not be when I'm eating. <laughs> the dusty hot town of Crazy Camel is famous for cantinas filled by all, all kind of weirdos. Some sand redders approach you guys as soon as you get there. <laughs> These are Jawas. Hey, you must pay an entry toll if you want to visit Crazy Camel. What is of Lord Ginormous? And I'm that is <laughs> that's a reference to the latest Mad Max, I think. Yep, yeah, but I live here. <laughs> hey, making your excuses not to pay? We'll just confiscate your stuff then. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> Well, this very much feels like those dreams where you're naked in cyber school. <laughs> uh, in real and embarrassing life. Naked Mr. Kent dances off like there's no tomorrow. It was raining, you bullies. Well, they, they took all of his possessions except for that big ass sensor bar. Hey, don't distract me, y'all need to pay too. Uh, yeah, let's go <laughs> like this. <laughs> hey, you wanna play tough, you punks? Hey, we can play tough. Defeat sand five sand raiders, okay. Let's see. Okay, it gives more data here. Their HP, how much shield they have. Their average damage. Crit and dodge chances. And their specials. I have to say, that line. We will pay in punches. That sounds like something I would pay, actually. <laughs> 
a small humanoid desert creature that rely in bad phrase on desert travelers. Okay, these things are tougher already, so let's go at them in twos. For now. Okay, I, I do like that they're just dra dropped in like miniatures. Let's see. Okay, the blue overlay is the amount of shields that they have. And let's give that a shot. Okay. It's almost gone already. Okay, they, they're not they're starting off hitting high as well. Okay, it's a good thing that I yeah, picked this skill. Okay, but uh, okay, this is an expensive power. But <laughs> yeah, that was a cheap enough shot to deal with that guy. Okay. Miss. Okay, he's probably going to shoot him again. And this should finish him off. And there we go. Two Javas dealt with. Ugh. Let's see. Shop, create battle, team formation. There should be a rest option somewhere. Let's see. AA batteries cover <laughs> 40% of your shield and raise shield bent by 20%. Petroleum syrup. Okay. I think that would give its own negative status. Tanton's hot coffee. Again, the coffee, it takes a few seconds to boil on the Tanton's hot sun, which you can't see, but it's hot. I have worked on hot asphalt barefoot as a kid. And back then, was still where these heat waves were very rare. But one summer, it got so damn hot that we could not go on the road at all without having to go and get the shoes. Okay. I think even the shoes took damage. Yeah, when asphalt or it starts to get too hot it gets a bit melty and yeah, apparently it... in some areas in America uh, it's a known occurrence that if it has a heat wave that uh, if you go out on step out onto the road you're probably going to lose whatever shoes you're wearing yeah I think at that time it was like I think right they just had layered a new layer of asphalt you know when it's uh, big and black so the very next day, he came super heat, and yeah, if you walk there, your feet will hurt and your feet will be black. Does it look like you burned them? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, okay. let's focus fire. Yeah, I think I remember that from my village. A well, few times I, I heard thunder, then I took my walk. I could see where lightning had struck down a waterfall that made a damn hole. On the road. Okay. He looked like a small cannibal had crush landed, basically. So yeah, people. Don't take walks when it's raining. And lightning. Yeah, yeah, if there's a thunderstorm out, you should <laughs> you should avoid going out anyways because you could get struck by lightning. Even if there is yeah. something higher and more conductive next to you. Yeah, there's still a chance that, well, Mother Nature will, is going to say fuck you anyways. Yeah, and, and the thing in the blast holes it made on the road, I would say, if it did not hit you directly, I think the boom would definitely stun you. Yeah, it's, with lightning strikes, it's not just the, the immediate area that gets struck that get, takes damage. Oh, this, this little one is bit faster. Uh, yeah, the, the electricity courses through the earth for a good distance as well, so like a few meters at the very least, five or ten perhaps even. Yeah, I, what the heck. I don't want to know how painful it is for your ears. 
I think that, that it could be enough to knock you out, at least. It could lead to a crush fall if you fall over badly. Yeah. Lord Ginormous will have our hearts for this. An armored figure appears. No, he won't. Because you're all will be in jail. Space police is instantly better, you know. I'm Volk Parsec of Nebula Command, soldiers. I'll handle the situation now. You're relieved of your duties. Wait, hold on. Take a look at her armor. Yeah, that is very uh, Buzz Light here. Yeah. Vel drags the Sand Raiders away as she goes looking for, uh, for more troublemakers. I mean, have to be confess. Her design looks better than Buzz Light years. <laughs> it's an improvement. Mr. Kent returns. <laughs> and he got his towel back. <laughs> Phew, good thing I managed to call Nebula Command to aid us. Uh, where did you keep that cell phone? Or whatever, your your space phone. I didn't even have the time go time to go home and get a fresh new towel. I didn't just get properly dressed. <laughs> Quit judging my fashion sense. Well have you know my towel collection is nothing short of impressive. Anyways, thanks for all your help. Things are looking up around Crazy Camel. Mr. Kent leads. I'll hope, <laughs> I hope he'll put some pants on now. At least acquiring trousers is easier than getting us off this rust dusty rock. Almost says dusty... <laughs> dusty duck. Or ru rusty duck? Yeah. Un unexplained... That's a Dragon Ball! What okay, revives a fallen character. up here uh, yeah let's keep hmm actually we have those rat burgers those should do for healing at the moment so what else can we put in yeah I really like don't like the idea of rat burgers pull pulls your target to the front line and deals 26 30 push Okay, damage to all targets afflicted by put. Okay, so that's a combo attack. Uh, yeah, let's put that one in then. Uh, we'll keep our healing with the burgers for now. And I'm thinking we are supposed to be using those to heal up. <clears throat> Between missions anyways. Let's see. Create a new mission. But, uh... We're going to Spanish <coughs> ship graveyard. Yeah, where is that? In Tanton. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can we explore these? But oh, your ATV suddenly bumps into something on the road. You look back, and there's a shiny thing lying in the ground. <laughs> I'm not falling for this. Just ignore it. Let's just take whatever it is. Yeah, we can have random encounters. When you pick up the item, something nearby explodes. You're a bit hurt, but manage to retrieve some credits from the object. One HP for credits? Okay, I'd say that's worth it. Now, what the heck is over here? <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> okay, I'll level up for you. Yeah, let's keep it as is. Okay, travel. Let's take a look. Okay, an 18 and Raider Outpost. Lair of the Medic Raiders. Yeah, it's okay, it shows you what <clears throat> enemies you can find there. Okay. Some good rolls or decent rolls. That might as well take it. Per Petroman Leakage Center. Okay. <laughs> You might as well explore a bit around. Empty node, so nothing here. Tampton Spaceport. Okay. Wait, why is there a chat box here? Okay. Wait. Oh, space. Talk oh, talk to nearby planet dwellers. When I think it's not even supersonic speeds are enough for space travel, I go vertigo and get vertigo. Yeah, if you want to travel through space, you gotta go fast. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Random. <laughs> and not really of use to us. Hmm, it looks like that star is visible even during daytime now. You saw that star the other day too. Weird. If you have time for stargazing, you have time for work, alien. <laughs> Soldiers, I uncovered the Spain Sand Raiders leader's hiding place, a local refinery. I can't leave the town unattended, so I'm taking you I'm send I'm sending you to take him down. <laughs> sending. Okay, what's in for us? The warm glow of galactic communal righteousness. <laughs> I hate it when they say that. Sure, I'll be lend, you know, glad to lend you my employees. Poor modest fee, KKK. <laughs> I can arrest you for something of dust, sir. Uh, I meant, they'll be happy to help. <laughs> You'll be paying for this later. Good, soldiers. Go to the nearby refinery and incapacitate this master ginormous. Be careful, there have been setting up strange creatures over there. She so runs off. Remember, I still own you, Dr. Hillian. As that officer is gone, you'll still be here working for me. That guy must be a blast at parties, because he probably isn't. Bloody heck. Yeah, I could see of making a series on this in the future. Yeah, okay. Old, uh, semi new spaceships are sold here. <laughs> okay. Someone to chat here. You're passing by this place where you notice a hidden guy, Hillian. Hey, hey, hidden guy, what you hiding from? Shh, be quiet, or be, they'll find me. Who will? They will. We're looking for an even a smuggler. Oh, them. Oh, wait, is that the Sarlacc pit there? There's two of them. Uh, yeah. And we have some sort of inverted pyramid here. Is that one from Oblivion movie? Or... And I'm pretty What's sure that's that? Jabba's palace over there. What is going on here? Have you yet seen anyone who might be, look like a smuggler? Mm. Do we rat him out or do we help him? I suspect we may need him. That smuggler, he truly is a master of disguise. The officer dashes off, looking for the smuggler elsewhere. You gotta save my life. Here, take some of my smuggled good, I insist. Some smuggled hot stuff. So Soylent Rainbow. That's a reference to Soylent Green. What's the big deal about Soylent? He was out on my planet. Haven't you heard the stories? No. Well, people like that then don't think too hard about it. <laughs> yeah, the thing with Soylent Green was that it was made from people. Oh! Wait, okay, that's probably why it's outlawed. Yeah. Okay, nothing here. <laughs> Authoritarian authority, come on. Uh, let's see. You were constructed into Nebula Command, your mission to resolve the Sand Raider Crisis. Dominated by your ferrous smell, your refineries rust pipes haven't seen action in a while. Suddenly, enemies approach. Defeat two Petra men, defeat two of Sand Raiders to continue mission. Okay. Oh, okay, I was expecting like something else, not a petrol a petroleum slime. With a flamethrower. Creature made out of oil created by Genormus, technically a zombie since petroleum comes from fossils. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, wait, not wrong, not wrong. That's actually. I, I would give them a bonus point for that one. That's kind of smart. Okay, these things are tough. One on their own is already enough to count for two of those sand riders. And uh, yeah, I just I just like that they're dropped in like miniatures. Yeah, I kind of like that too. And I, I think charm to it. Okay, let's poison this thing. Is there any way to fly with a weapon like that? 
<laughs> I have to say, they have been very creative in this game. Even though they made a lot of, you know, reference. Yeah. Okay. We use this so, again, yeah. and it heals us. Yeah, tell us that in the ways of all reference that they have some hidden creativity. Okay, slow applied. And we don't have enough SP for another special attack, and even with <laughs> even with Drakir slowed down, you're still faster than this thing. Well, I have like they don't. Oh. I don't know if that's a healing gym. Because there is several of them in one, so yeah, but it's pretty big. Okay, this is probably going to sound a bit more like a dick. Uh, this uh, this might annoy some people, but I'm guessing the uh, oil monsters are gender fluid. <laughs> uh, okay, Let, let's swap that out for charged attack. And yeah, I think I think we are supposed to heal through items instead of uh, using a rest option. In nights, in nights there used to be a rest option in places, but uh, so I'm guessing that's not in here, or maybe it's just not unlocked yet. Either way, let's go for another one of these. Okay, poison again. Charge attack. And then the poison sets in. And on our turn, we're going to heal by using it again. And finish it off. I like the music. Yeah. I, I have to say, this, this game is doing a lot better for me than uh, Knights of Pen and Paper did. I guess they uh, took the feedback uh, from the old uh, first game. Yeah. The new one to make it a bit more streamlined, hmm. or at least more for to play. Okay, we're low on SP, but I think we could should be able to take on two of these guys. Uh, yeah, they, they also had a bigger budget, of course, because they had well the funds of a no of a previous game to work from. Yeah, that helps a lot. Likely. <laughs> Flea. It's a space chicken. What? <laughs> I appreciate that one. I appreciate that one. That's not a clever pun. Uh, yeah, we can just gun these guys down. Oop, dodged. <clears throat> yep, dodged, little bastards. Also, I expect the ginormous to be extremely tiny. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised at all. But it is either that or it is actually huge. We'll have to see once this thing is gone. It stops dodging. Okay, the other things lose consistency when defeated, forming pools of black goo on the floor. Looks like Nast Light's dinner. <laughs> Let's proceed carefully. Another what? level. I do have to say, I'm not sure if I noticed earlier when you stopped the, the game, I saw it was only US flag and Brazilian flag. Okay, I didn't like this option. Uh, let's see. It kind of makes me wonder, is this game made in Brazil? I can't say. And how actually do I get into... There we go. Settings. Okay, yeah. Hmm. That community translations. Okay. That basically, that <laughs> they can have the, the fans make their own translations. And... Okay. 
I get the feeling there is probably advanced trend. Let's let's take a freaking look. Is there one in Klingon? Let's see. Japanese, Turkish, French. Okay, not too many. But I was fully expecting one in Klingon. I I think I'm a little off the pod if that was the case. Okay. Okay, me next. Reaching the final room, you come across a large human dude and a green wearing a hat. We authorize personnel allowed to scram. Okay. A little space wizard. Oh, what is that? Okay, big guy's trying to scare you off. You must be ginormous. Hard. That's Lord ginormous to you, punks. Okay, so. Alright. The only thing big about him is his yeah, minigun. But he is big. Uh, true, but yep. Okay. No, no, where I was going with that. Oh yeah, that's me, head of this whole operation. Okay, here's an idea: beat him up and get us out of here already. <laughs> that's unacceptable. You work for me, little lady. Go take a dive in a tar pit, Eugene. <laughs> okay, that's a new one. Wait, that's the main switch? That's oh dear. The name's yeah, enormous. He's forcing me to create these old things using my sciencer ability. But sciencer, <laughs> sciencer. <laughs> is that a is that a sci-fi version of a sorcerer? Yep. What? The <laughs> alien, oh, get oh, us oh. out of here, or the dice gets it. Sigh. Don't be sad. I'm leaving a last surprise to do you in. Ha <laughs> ha. Alien moves her staff around, and they're gone in the flash. Where they were standing, there's another creature now. <laughs> Is that a washing machine with boxing gloves? Uh, oh, it's my turn now. I'll knock your teeth in. How <laughs> the washing machine is alive. Or Sigma. I'll have you know I'm the fantabulous unboxed box. What? Oh, we can... That box unboxed itself. Oh, 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 that's right. Now I'll unbox you. What? Oh, it's a boxing box. <laughs> oh, wait, and we don't even get the choice in if we fight or not, so okay. At least our SP restored and level up. So let's. Okay, I think we can take this thing unless. Okay, it deals a good amount of damage. Okay, let's use the last one of those up. Okay, so we can use an item and act. So of course, we're going to attack. And let, let's save that one until we've taken some damage. So that heal will actually have an effect on us. So not yet. Okay, yeah, we can take this thing down easily. Stunned and moved back, so the damage buff is gone. But, okay, but we got a good enough roll to undo the stun. That's basically what that dice uh, symbol is. For time to take it, just the game taking a roll to see if you resist an effect or not. One towel. The little MRK or I'm <laughs> inside on it. Whether this is Mr. Ken's towel or not is not known, but it sure is comfy. It raises your health by 12 and your SP by 2. That was the second strongest bug that I ever fought. What was the strongest boss in the cardboard one? Elena's being forced to work for the big jerks. Same as us, we have to help her. As we step outside, you see Janumus' ship blasting off. Whoosh. Wait, wasn't wasn't Vesper supposed to be only one having ships? Crap, if only we had our own ship to chase him. You suddenly notice that Bright Star from the last few days is falling down. Okay, I was not expecting us to cut scenes. Holy <laughs> deus ex machina. <laughs> Say, wouldn't the crash so close by completely kill us in the shockwave? Because if you apply the meteor impact rule from the core book, chill, Hilliard, remember the golden rule. 
the GM has the final word. Of course, there's godlike and these godlike powers must not be used in vain, so don't get too comfy. <laughs> Come on, alien, let's go check that ship out already. Seems to have crash landed in the area corresponding to the Sigma X uh, Sector X Sigma 42 coordinates. That's references to something. I th I know there's a Sector X in Star Fox. Sigma 42, I have no clue about though. Good. Level up for you. 5 HP. Or no, not 5 Seal and 11 HP. Nice. Uh, let's keep the charge blast. Oh, another level here already. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, when is the team's hour mark? Uh, let's see. We, we moved over at about 20 minutes or so from uh, Photonica. So we're about 50 minutes in. Let's see. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure how long those other two games would last. I'm okay with this one for the rest, but otherwise, just check in case you want to try the other one as well. That's, uh, okay, our little pot, our little transport pod looks a bit like a cat with those headlights on top of it. If they were moved a bit more to the sides, it totally would have been a cat. I think I'm a frog at the moment, myself there. Well, no, this thing certainly looks like a frog with this. Yeah, that definitely looks like a frog. We find the treasure crate. A hollow note attached to it says, Take this if you are a worthy space explorer. But leave it alone if you're not. <laughs> or else. <laughs> are there any space explorer worthier than us? I don't think so. One piercing. Gives the pierce user one chance to avoid all damage taken by this piercing. Raise you know, your dodge chance by 1%. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's put both of these on you, because you are, yeah, you are more the tank at the moment. I, I wonder. I'm sure how tower equals tank. <laughs> um, it might not be on. Okay, that is obviously the Enterprise in the background there. Yeah, that's... a bit, a bit short. Yeah. Hmm? Okay, I was thinking this was the main saucer, but those are probably the nacelles. And that is a very short, a small saucer section then. Unless it is oh, supposed yeah. to be the other way around, e even though that thing is unbalanced. Reach the ship's crash site. It seems to be in good conditions, in spite of the monumental crash landing. This is so exciting. It'll make a great blog post. <laughs> Come on, Vicky. I need you all focused on the game. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm 110% focused. I think there's even a word for that. Um, Unabi or something? Eh? <laughs> Let's hurry up inside already. We enter the fallen ship. The strange spacecraft features an architectural style you've never seen before. Curious? Let's look around some more. In the engineering dock, you see a power core pulsing with energy. So the ship doesn't use fuel. Wow. This looks very human. Leaving the engineering dock, you come across a med bay. Cool, we have a place to mend our broken bodies after all the bloody fights we're getting. Okay, so I'm guessing that yeah, this ship is probably going to be our base and where we'll be able to heal up free. Wait, who are you calling weird? <laughs> weird, Ricky. Uh, something I just noticed. These little things on the wall. Yeah? Yeah, from Half-Life. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, the, the med station and the energy station from Half-Life. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah! <laughs> anyway, finally you reach the ship's bridge. Bzz. What was that buzzing sound? Oh really, it might have uh, something to do with the overabundance of appliances in my one wall socket. Okay, I passed the electrical fire savings for no focus on the game, everyone. 
Uh, yeah, you don't want too many things. Uh, basically, uh, don't plug extension cables into extension cables because then you're you're increasing the chance of things catching fire. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I have doubts about how effective that solution of yours is. <laughs> okay, yeah, th this game is a lot more entertaining than Knights. I was fearing that this game was just uh, a reskin, but no, it's obviously much more. Was this good? <clears throat> and I, yeah, it seems that the one thing I've forgotten this time is that I forgot my freaking water. Well, at least that's not as a big a major thing to forget. Yeah, and well, I can just walk to the next room over and drink from the sink. And I need not mean to rhyme that time. But when it does happen, it's fine. Yeah. Anyway, where's the crew? I hope they weren't vaporized in the crash landing. I think you'd be seeing them in a I think this, the window would have a different tint you know, or shade to it. Is tint even an English word? I think tint is in the English. The ship. It's our ticket to all of the adventures we've always dreamed of. Too bad we won't be shaking my ship anywhere, slaves. Wait, what, what happened to your lisp? We got your first? Yeah, but I saw that star first. <laughs> Come on. No, you didn't. Oh, uh... I knew you'd be here. Vestro, you're under arrest for selling poor quality ships. <laughs> yeah, wait, isn't he under arrest for placing free galactic citizens under forced servitude? Oh, right, that too. Okay, you're, <laughs> you're a bit of a bitch. <laughs> Never. Uh, you're free from this leech soldiers? You brats will pay for this. His accent seems to be slipping at times. <laughs> The ship has no crew and no registration, so on my authority, take it and bring the numbers to justice. I have a feeling your reputation will increase with your heroic exploits, soldiers. I think that soldiers. I think in the Buzz Lightyear cartoon, that bosses that Buzz's boss used to call his. Or was it Buzz? No, I don't think Buzz called his people soldiers. Maybe his boss called everyone soldiers. He was a sort of military man, from what I remember. I, not, I know that it exists, but I've not seen it, really. I mean, right now you're just abductees, but soon you'll grow to be a... Uh, well, we'll see, huh? If Conquered files trust, so she should give you hunt missions now. You'll probably come across people who give you different kinds of missions. About time we left this rock, all thanks to our new mysterious ship. This is more than a ship, it's a companion, and it needs... A, a musician? <laughs> a mu <laughs> no, it needs a name. The frog? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on! Come on. I dubbed the... the Slippy. The Slippy seems to hum slightly. We'll see how the sleepy flies. Probably terribly like the frog it's named after. Deflector shields redirected with neutronic power generators. Processing core frequency set to 14 kiloquads. The slippery tumbles slightly at the engine start. And it takes off on its own. Slippy lifts off, rising through the sky and leaving Tanton Sands behind. Also, I don't know. Everyone. Hey, what's that thing floating over there? And you were saying? Uh, I was saying, I do not like how some of the hologram screens are going up and down. Like, you want your screen to stand still. Yeah. We can worry about it later. Now let's scan for heat signatures and track ginormous down. Wait, is this supposed to be his spaceship? Find ginormous spaceship and... Oh no, it, 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 that's her next objective. Yeah. Welcome to space! <laughs> oh my God. Just click a note to travel to that place or planet. Try catching up to ginormous ship. Okay. And he's not moving at all. There. Oh, hello. 
Space combat. Dice power plus AP. One to four. That's F a dice. AP bar. No, it, it's a 1d4. It's a four sided dice. Okay, so that gives us power to act with. Basic attack. Okay, that the eight <coughs> the action point cost of these abilities increase with each use. So there's a bit, a bit of strategy with this. We got four points. He attacks twice. And we're about even. Um, okay, we got four again. We, we had one left over from last time. Uh, let's heal up. Then we start shooting. <laughs> one HP, come on. And only one AP, but that's more than enough still. <laughs> one battery pack actually charges to your current uneasy based on your currently installed dice. Okay. The enormous space explodes in a fireball of death and destruction. Oops, there goes the uh, friendly alien. <laughs> Intercepting Genomus' ship yes, gave you the experience needed to take up intercept mission. Yeah, wait a minute, what about Eliana? <laughs> Did she die for a binary death? Oh, uh, no, she didn't. Escape pods launched before that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we are playing the, like I said, the GM as well. So even though the main line of the story doesn't change, Maybe. We can still affect things. So are we going to drop her off on an asteroid or a spaceship? A station. Yeah. And that that is obviously supposed to be DS9. Yeah, that yeah, there's a Cisco yeah. there. Let's go. What is this? Yeah, since on the DM in a dream think ahead. Yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of times with uh, I'm of course not with many things. I'm not an experienced DMO or I've tried it once or twice. But yeah, you need to be able to improvise. Yes. This area of the ship is dominated by a huge door. However, no matter what you do, you cannot open it. Sealed door. I hope nothing's breathing in there. Okay. Yeah, there is going to be something in there. The level for you. <clears throat> okay. Do we want to continue with this game or shall we move on to the other two games? They should be short. What? They, they should be short little games. Yeah, I, I can say we can move on to the other two. Okay. So. Yeah, I, I think we could stream this from time to time as a, a Saturday thing. Yeah, I can see that too. It has a strong twitch. And okay, yeah, for, some, especially... reason, for some reason, escape doesn't seem to react at times. Okay. Okay, exit. Could have, I could have exited directly, but I wanted to see if anything changed there. All right. Oh, I didn't know Devolver was involved in this. Okay. Share that to you. And capture specific window. And it's not showing, but I'm seeing it. Capture specific window. And it's why is it still looking for Photonica? The heck? Yep. Yep. Wait, cat robot? Yeah, Gato Roboto. Let's see, does it respond? Yeah. Gato means a cat. Full yeah. screen. Gato means cat in Spanish or Latin. The game should be catching up 
on OBS now any second. There we go. I don't know why it takes that from time, but uh, yeah, this is. Uh, if it lets me go back, Gato Roboto. And yeah, I didn't know Devolver was involved with this. Uh, yeah, I know pretty much nothing about this game other than, well, it looks 8 bit black and white. More, more 16 bit, perhaps. I'm not good with what era of uh, bits <laughs> something may look. Gary to mission control, come in mission control, over. Is this going to progress on its own? Yes, it is. Mission control here, over. Commander, I'm getting a signal from a small planet in my patrol route. When it's 42069. Over. Gordon's respond to one of our research facilities. Likely a false alarm, Lieutenant. This particular facility has been long since abandoned. Over. Mission to investigate, sir. Over. Approach with caution, Lieutenant. Over. Okay, pretty basic uh, story hook. Something going wrong at the research facility. Affirmative commander approaching target, sir. Preparing for... Cats. Hurry, we have lost visual. We are going down. <laughs> Hold on, kitty. Uh, you did it on purpose, you little furry bastard, didn't you? Can't move. What the heck does it sound like you? But I'm alive. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Meow? <laughs> huh? Kiki, my kitty. I have bad news, Kiki. I am trapped inside the ship. Kiki, you will have to go in my place. <laughs> okay, switch. Meow. Am I really talking to a cat right now? <laughs> uh, sorry, Kitty. I'm up for a promotion. <laughs> I can't afford another mishap. These research facilities generally have a palatable security map available. Let's see if we can find one. I will help guide you using your <laughs> radio collar. Make sure to listen for my voice. Godspeed. <laughs> Good game. Okay. Yeah, I was expecting silly. Okay. We jump with A and... I wonder if it is just older than Devolver, like if it was the first game or something. I think this was probably... Devolver Digital tends to be a... Okay, this is totally... No, wait, we can cling to the walls from wall jump. <laughs> yeah, this is totally I'm... a Metroid parody. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I can recognize that before. Okay, I have played the, the first Metroid. And what a challenge. But then again... <laughs> Gats and water. I would struggle with platformers. Now, I think I have the original Metroid, or maybe not the original. 
a, an old Metroid, maybe the first uh, on my 3DS through that ambassadors program. Basically, if you bought the 3DS before, it was discounted. And I don't think I ever finished that though. Is something wrong, Kiki? Kiki, don't tell me you're scared of a little water. Meow. <laughs> it's the only way forward, Kiki. <laughs> unamused cat is unamused. You have to get in there, Kiki. One way or another. Boo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I haven't scared him in the water, if that's what you mean. Yeah, if you if you've done that, then I'd be surprised. I just think like you scared him, but maybe not that much. Yeah, startled at worst, like uh, sneaking up on them, and then just putting your hand on their back and such. Not outright shouting at them to actually scare them. Okay. But that's good. What about I could see the ink get him when I get revenge on you such? Great work, Kiki. Step onto that platform to suit up. I kind of find it amusing. To this day, floppy disk is used as a save icon. Yeah, it's it's iconic. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, Kiki. Somehow it fits. What the? Press I when you want to get out. And that you are equipped. It's time to figure out what happened here. Uh, and yeah, you give the cat a gun, and of course it's going to use it. Good kitty. Yeah, it looks like a form of Metroid now, even. Um. Okay, easy enough to deal with. But these are, of course, the first enemy. And our shots have a limited range. Okay, why... Okay, why was there a little pause there? Is that meant to signify that all the enemies in the room are gone? Okay, hive thing, get rid of you. Let's see. What's over here? Blocks probably destroyed. Probably later, then, but not now. Okay, every time we fired, <laughs> Kiki's face in the corner. Oh, uh, that's a new reference. Okay, that thing. I think this place was blocked off. So, can we get. Up. Yes. Oh, I didn't notice the worm. No. Okay, you got a health kit module. And we have more health. Okay. GG, you got a health kit. Maximum HP has increased. Good work, Kiki. Yeah. Okay, get rid of that thing. What is on that door on the behind that door on the other side? So I'm seeing <clears throat> since we can exit the ship in this thing, that means we will also have platforming while we have to be as the, uh, as Kiki without the suit uh, to be able to wall jump around. Hmm. 
what do we have here? Oh, we need to we need to stand still on it. Okay. here or enough nothing we can work with at the moment oh and yeah we are stuck on this end and one of the frogs and it did end <laughs> okay frogs it is then We just get hit by the water. Okay, so yeah, water hurts us as the mech, but not as uh, the cat. That makes sense. Yeah, this thing isn't waterproof apparently. Yeah. Meant to jump over it. And there we go. Okay, that pause earlier might have been that the door opened up. And we can't go in here, but Kiki alone can. And yes, swimming cats. <laughs> Uh, it, it is a bit of a stereotype that cats hate water, uh, which isn't completely true. Cat, no, tigers are known to swim through rivers uh, to get the prey on the other side, or more likely to get to hunting grounds on the other side. Yeah, and there are species of uh, cats that actually hunt by water. Okay, that I didn't know. I was looking for the claw, but they're basically fishing cats, and they, yeah, they really love water, and they, yeah, they, they, they don't come along the rivers and catch fish. Okay, so can we make that jump? Claw, they are almost yes. red, but not really red, from in between. Okay, so just damp. What? So just damp, not, not uh, completely wet. Not completely... Web. Oh, web. web. Not web. So they, I guess they get wet from the swim. Geeky got a rocket module. Oh no. Uh, this cat is going to try and take over the uh, universe. Kiki, you got a rocket. Press me to use it. Model is put. Amplify your jump. Wait, we can rocket jump? Over and out. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why that all of a sudden? Oh, oh, okay, that gave us our suit back. That, that was unexpected. Nice. Okay, the rocket pushes us back a bit. Oh. Okay, we can't use the rockets too fast or this thing will overheat. So instead of a, a limited amount, we have an overheat. Yeah, that's so far. Oh, wait, can we blow we that up there? Talented. Yes, we can. Okay, what is hidden up here? Okay, <laughs> As, yeah, that was probably to be expected. Uh, Kiki dies in one hit outside of the suit. That's going to add a bit of challenge to things. Same mistake. 
Yeah, I, I, when I see, I see it jump, I don't think it'll actually bounce off with the wall there, but yeah, it does. Well, uh, that's interesting that when it can dies, it will up with enemies with them. Okay, third time's the charm. Otherwise, I'm an utter idiot. Okay, I can hear one of those swarms. Nope. Uh, yeah, let's take the high road. Okay, we can't take the high road. We need to bring the suit here. Can I bring it up? Yeah, with this little ramp that we've formed over here. And why didn't you bring it over to begin with? Because I wasn't that sure that the ship had <laughs> the, <laughs> the suit could make that jump. Okay, it put the blast pushes us away. So we could just have to up our jumps a bit. It should work. At least game-wise it could work. Oh, there's totally going to be something up in that corner. And let's see, can we make that jump? Of the screen is keeping coordinates for a map, probably. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, back into that thing like we're, we're feline earthworm gym. Oh, we, pa we passed through here before. Of our new Earthworm Gym that we're giving in the game. I knew what? Earthworm Gym. That would be surprising. Yeah, they were, I'm sure if it's true or not, but it, yeah, they've been having a lot of bumpy rides. What's that squeak healing noise? Squeak. Gigi, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Nope. Uh, okay. <laughs> the mouse has a mech as well. Oh, oh, come on. So those explode after some time as well. And as two rockets are accidentally fired into the air. Okay, just keep our distance. Let them explode on their own. Is that Sans's face? We're almost dead. And... Oh. Oop. <laughs> Somehow the mouse has a better mech suit than me. Yeah, th those shoulder bits look like Sans with the mohawk. And that's game over. Okay, I think we're supposed to be more hitting... The, bu the mouse's bubble. Which makes sense, of course. Yeah. But yeah, this, this game is obviously more than just a parody. It's also a bit of a love letter, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> we can hit it 
dealing with normal attacks, but of course rockets are going to do better. And I forgot those things, things explode. Wrong way. Come on, those those chain legs hurt us. There's actually a new Metroid game in the works. Well, technically, there's two in the works. There's a new 2D one, or 2.5D more, and Metroid Prime 4 should still be in the works. Uh, I think those nine minutes were taken down by Nintendo before we can realize that our system needs to be. That was a bad decision there. We won. Uh, I don't think we want to eject now because this thing would kill us in one hit. We jump over, fire, miss. Okay, just a few more hits. Yep. Actually, <laughs> two more hits. Ouch. I mean, squeak. <laughs> Meow. Uh, was that mouse speaking? It appears that I have lost a lot of blood. <laughs> uh -oh. Keep moving forward, kitty. I am counting on you. <laughs> It's even unlocked rats. Okay, do we have a... Oh, yes, we have a map here. Uh, it's an old school one. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's a nice little picture. Uh, back. Wait, pallets? No. Soft. Okay. I was, more, I was more expecting to let be different colors, but okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, shall we continue with this or take a look at that last game that I had uh, set up? I say let's take a look at the last one. Okay. Yeah, th this is a cute little game. Although I say uh, little. I don't know how long this might be. Uh, yeah, it, obviously made by people who like Metroid. And more than comp competently made. Okay, this last one was practically free on Steam for like two bucks. Okay. Uh, of course... Yes, not going to let yourself be shared just like that. Okay. Uh, options. Um, okay, that's one way to signify the full screen <clears throat> and windowed mode. But yeah, this is Geometric Sniper. As I said, it was only two uh, bucks on Steam. And uh, we, yeah, as far as I know, <laughs> you're, well, a sniper and you're, <clears throat> basically this is Where's Waldo with the sniper rifle. Yeah, take a look at the company's logo. Yeah, yaw. That looks awesome. Yeah. It, but it also looks a bit, yeah, you see the rest of the game. Yeah, it stands in high contrast to everything. Uh, let's yeah. have a little look. Day one. I was planning on retire, but I was assigned to a secret division. Better check out the tablets for new missions. Okay, not a perfect translation there. Of, so I'm guessing the people who made this weren't native English speakers. But as long as things are still understandable, uh, or well, more understandable than all your all your base are belong to us, then it's still good, I'd say. Yeah. There's English, then there's simple English. As long as it's at least simple English that you can understand, 
and then it's fine. As long as you don't do too many errors with using the yeah, very wrong word for wrong situation. Okay, this is your character's okay. profile. Learn it by heart. You can only access it once. Okay, so okay, so you do have to memorize your target's appearance. Typically, oh, in these dear. sort of games, you will have a, a picture of your target in in the corner at all times. So our target is a circle with a frown, a mustache, and a skull pendant. New intel attention. You have received new hints on where and when to find the target. Here you can check your designated mission. Snipers have only one chance to hit the target, but you might have more than one target. Time window, the you know, target may appear in. Okay. <coughs> Return, screenshot, precision. Shoot, zoom, precision, aim. Okay, I'm guessing... Very simple. Bit... Did it sound just die, or is that on my end? Then... Oscar. No, no, I'm talking. I'm oh yeah, here. that is that here. is on my end. So I need hmm? to quickly what? reassign that. Test ah. one two. Nice. Test one two. Three four five. I'm not hearing anything. I can hear you. Okay, did we lose connection somehow? Oh wait, that that's the wrong thing that it selected. Okay, there we go. Yeah, for some reason my audio to get staticky in the headset from time to time. Uh, oh, yeah. It might be a mistake. It might be an error in the voice meter. All right. If but I, I just reassign it, then it fixes static. itself. All right. Well, I have heard you get staticky sometimes, and for us, I imagine it. Okay, with, with precision, I'm presuming that it means like holding your breast, so the. <clears throat> So the cursor will wobble less. Okay. Name Michael Bonebreaker, 38, 5 foot 9. Uh, skill torture, interrogation, wanted for torture and mutilation. Dangerousness 2. Ancient deceased, right before he got caught, he managed to transmit that the target Bonebreaker will be around the targets we will be sending you. And he'll be there for eight minutes. Find and eliminate the target before he vanishes again. <laughs> Already misreading. Hmm? You said around the target we send you. When it says around the area we send okay. you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Circular, mustache, angry look, skull pendant. Yeah, and you want me at least to help you here. Okay, this bar is showing your aiming position. The closer to center, the more you will be rewarded. Activates only when aiming. With an extra M. Beware the time limit. Hold spacebar to hold your breath and aim. This bar indicates how long you can maintain the, the aiming. Mouse wheel, mouse scroll to zoom in and out. Okay. Okay, we need some circle. Not that one. That one, perhaps. Okay, not that one, not that one. That one has its back to us. Not there. Is that one ever going to turn around? Okay, we have a limited area. And we have only one shot at this. That's not him. Almost. Oh, is that him? That's him. Oh, yes. Missing a plate. It was him. Well done. Achievement that's unlocked. History started. Okay. Um. Okay. Aren't we supposed to press the tablet to continue on? Or Oof, that's hard work, like finding a needle in a haystack. At training camps, they warned us that emotions could get in the way. If I had really listened, it uh, may be that day. Enough of thinking, let's remove the needle. Okay, so one of these is the sniper. Uh, 
Okay, next mission, Richard Razor Joey. 34, 176, 584. Kidnapping and extortion, wanted for kidnapping and extortion. Level three in dangerousness, a square with a scar, also a frown. And a neutral face, no necklace or anything. This one will only be around for six minutes. Luckily, the hostage managed to warn her husband about the kidnapping. We don't know the location of the hidden target and the hostage. Locate and eliminate the target before he kills the hostage. Okay. Square, scar, frown. Okay. Let's see, how big of an area have we to work with here? Not too big. Seeing a few scar. No, that one isn't frowning. Let's see. That's glasses. Okay, and so ev every second in game is a second. Or in in reality, is a second in game. Is handy. So we, so we have a full six minutes to find this guy. Let's see. Is he moving around somewhere? He has a hat. That one has glasses. Hat. That one is speaking or something? Or, no, the thought bubbles with emotions and such. And that one has a pearl necklace. Uh, that one has a monocle or something. Wait. I didn't see what this one over here had. Let's see. Yes, come a bit further. Looks like they have hair. I think that might be it. Them. Let's zoom in. Yeah, they have someone. That might be the hostage. But it's not showing much of them. So it could be someone completely different as well. Yeah, that's a bit... Looks like it... Yeah, that's not them. Let's keep that in mind in case we don't spot them anywhere else. Let's see. That one has glasses. Uh, yeah, we, we can't see the scar to confirm or not. Anyone else over here moving around? Where are they? Uh, what? You failed to save the host? What? Didn't we have six minutes for that? Okay, was it the one I was looking at? In the tower? Well, you're not supposed to shoot the hostage, so... Hmm. Wait... If that is her... Then I mean he would be on the, on the window? Let's just wait for them to show up here, if that is them. Otherwise, I am looking in the completely wrong direction. I'm going to look around, but I'm keeping that tower in sight. Almost no activity over there. If they have a hostage, I'd imagine they'd be stationary instead of walking around like some of the characters over there. A square with a scar. Come on. 
It might be that they mo are moving somewhere when I'm looking away. Hmm. Okay, talk is a bit loud downstairs, but shouldn't be too audible. Wait, I see movement. Ah, there, Scar. Oh. Okay, with, with the previous one, it wasn't visible because they were holding a square hostage, which covered up the scar. And aka, I mistook this, they hit their head as a hair. <laughs> yeah, okay. Am I just a living gun? I've seen too many dreadful things, and that, when I thought there could be something else after. Damn it, how much longer can I hold on? Will I pull the trigger on myself one day? Andrew, focus. Someone has to cast the bad guys. Okay, so our character is having a moral crisis about their... <clears throat> about their profession. Wesley, aka Mr. Boom, 39-174-56. Terrorism and explosive. Responsible for many terrorist attacks. Dangerous level 4. A secret agent obtained the intel that he plans to... To explode a bomb at 4 p.m. in the area we will send you. Okay, we have six minutes before detonation. Triangle balloon with two hat, hat with two balloons. Uh, bit of an innocent look. Triangle balloons hats. Not him. Not them. Wait, is that them? It looks like him. Okay. Yeah, I think that's him. It's the hat, and he had a, a bit of the, the eyebrows. Is the di big difference between the other ones? Oh. And the mouth was more in a neutral expression. So let's just wait for him to turn around a bit more. Like this is this is partially reminding me of a mobile game uh, called that, Hitman Sniper. That, that looks like him. Yeah, that was him. So he was right. Achievement unlocked. Thoughts. I hate terrorists. They bring up bad memories about that day. Anyway, this one won't boom around again. Who knows, the next target might be the one I'm really looking for. I really am looking for. Okay, so he's looking for someone to get revenge on. Jefferson, aka the Chancellor. Diplomacy, crime, no, wait. Our I secret think... agents attained intel about a possible attack on the Chancellor. Located and admit the terrorist before the Chancellor is killed. Okay, so this time we're not, we're defending. Uh, Varkor in chat. Huh? I don't remember that part of Shipbreak. I, I, I think I... Did I forget to update the stream? I, I put in the new stuff, but I forgot... Did I forget to press enter? Uh. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe I should push all of... Maybe I should my, push my streams back another half hour or so just to make sure that I have my freaking time to do this stuff. Uh, like 12 yeah, yeah well, we'll see part of me part of it is me just being lazy okay so someone is going to try and kill the chancellor and we have to defend them well i would say it's better to have a calm time to prepare them and they are brushing uh, rushing up is that the chancellor uh, now, now I already forgot what their mouse look like, so let's take a quick look. Okay, neutral mustache, monocle, and uh, somewhat raised eyebrows. And monocle, mustache, ahead. neutral. No monocle. Okay. I can't aim up high enough to look at those. So probably not them. And 
Okay. That's a square. Is that the Chancellor, perhaps? We have two guards here, I'm guessing. Can't see those again. Come on, do you have a monocle? Monocle, neutral mouth, slightly raised. Is that a... No, the monocle's on the wrong eye. Come on, is it you or not? Okay, I don't think they're going to turn around. Out of sight. Hmm. Are they going to walk back into sight, perhaps? Hmm. Come on, we need to find this Chancellor if we are to defend him. There's a hexagon walking around in there. sunglasses. This entire place seems to be empty, so we can ignore that. They are not turning around, and there's a hexagon in there. But we can't aim higher than that. Hmm. Where's this blasted chancellor? Good question. Halfway through. No, that, he's just a normal one. Okay, are you the Chancellor? Also, how would we recognize this terrorist? That they are approaching them or something? Hmm. No monocle. Mouth is too happy. That guy's just enjoying his time up on the roof. No monocle. Wait. That one we... We can't aim that low, so I'm th thinking that's not him either. No monocle on that one. Where the hell is this guy? What the heck is going on? Yeah, at this rate he's going to get shot. Because we can't find the fucker. Did you hear yeah, that? We're almost out of time. Sounds like someone tried to shoot him or something. I didn't hear anything. Uh, yeah, time is up. I don't even. S you have missed a target. Now, how are we supposed to recognize? It? We can't. We can't even find the dead guy. So how can we even defend him then? Yeah. And since we randomize it each time, so yeah. That one has a hat. It's like you have a chance to just get a very bad uh, map. Yeah, the map seems to be the same. Okay, yeah, uh, even well, happy guys up there. Yeah, it's just that everything time. else, all the other characters get randomized. So that means yeah. that the Chancellor is still is in one spot. Well, last time seems the our target changed tower, so he could be in another spot now. Uh, he he was still in the same tower, but just in a different uh, window. Ah. Hmm. Is that the Chancellor, perhaps? Well, you're not supposed to shoot him, so. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Goodbye. 
Well, we may we may not have found a chancellor, but we found the assassin. <laughs> well, maybe that's what we were supposed to look for. Yeah, but if if we found a chancellor, we would have found where the assassin should be in the area of, or should have been in the area of. Uh, pre taken. Has just killed a sniper like me? Has he always been evil or got corrupted at some point? What happened that made him change sides? Was he like me, haunted by the past? Would I end up like him? Damn it. Anyway, I must face my demons before it makes me crazy. Hmm. Let's see. Bob and Ted, the Scar Twins. Okay, both neutral faced, sunglasses and a scar on the forehead. Torture and military training. One for torture, murder and mutilation. Finally, our secret agent found out the location of the lab that produced that new drug that hunts the city. To help our agent getting in, you must eliminate the Scar Twins on the entrance. Be careful with the civilians, the lab cover is a night house. Is that supposed to mean a might club? Clear the way for our team locating and eliminating the two targets. Right, so we have. do we have to kill these two? Or do we need to... Hmm. I think you need to kill them both. Yeah. You got two bullets, so... Is that one of them already? Uh, no, 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 no scar. scar. Neutral expression, sunglasses, circle, and scar. So we have to assassinate both of those guys. They're probably not going to be sticking around together. Looking for a square, or circles, with sunglasses and a scar. Let's see. Oh, hello, is that you two? Did they have a frown? I don't think had a frown. Okay, we need to quick shot these guys. Okay. Wait, was one of them... Yeah, one of them the ran thing? in. But it was wrong eyebrow, though. So was it really them? Nope. Okay, so eyebrows does not matter. It's even unlocked questions. More pictures. I shouldn't have joined the secret division, I should have taken a break, but what else could I do? Where would I go? In other circumstances, this could have been possible, but Cathy wasn't around anymore. What eases me is that I might have a chance to have my revenge. Okay, going a bit over time. Hmm. Dr. Peter, one-eyed John, skilled surgeon, wanted for mutilation and organ trafficking. Secret agent obtained intel that the doctor will make trades and to blend in the crowd he chose a famous pirate convention. Uh. <laughs> to locate and eliminate the target before he completes the trade. Okay, upraised, <clears throat> raised eyebrows, neutral mouth, and skull with and swords, hexagon. Hexagon, neutral, raised eyebrow. Wait, is that him already? No, it's his skull with swords. Was it that his uh, hat was? Skull with swords? Yeah, but this. I think that might be him. That's, that's one cross and bones. A skull and bones. Oh. Let's see. He's making a trade, so he's probably on the move. Uh, see, I think I saw a storm on my because I've gone higher up. You won't pass. And they have the. Let's see. Yeah, they have the <laughs> head. <laughs> Skeleton plungers. Oh dear. Wait, could that be them? No, that's a pearl necklace. Wait, it's... I finished the end there. Uh, go back a little bit down by the store things. Zoom in. 
there. Might that be him? Mm. I, our target doesn't have a, a mustache. And again, skull oh, yeah. and bones. Yeah, I see We're that now. For skull and swords. Yeah, they are hard to see unless you zoom in. Oh dear. It seems that the symbols are on the back and the front of the hat, so that should help close things in a bit. So if we see someone with skull and swords, that Wait, is. So I will just enter the looks like maybe? Skull and bones. Oh damn it. Are they stationary at one of the stalls? Smiles, smiles, hats are blocked. Hmm. Yeah, it makes sense for an illegal deal to be disguised as a as, as a stand. I'm not, I've not seen a single skull and swords. Oh, there's one. Oh, uh, wait. Okay. <laughs> for a moment I'd forgotten what he looked like, because I was too busy looking for the skull and swords. It looks like he was the only one with that. Kitty once said we should try having a normal civil life, you know, but I was skeptical about starting a family after all we've seen and done. I wish I have li I had listened to her while I still could. Hmm. Yeah, this game is short. Um, but we are already at 2 hours and 15 minutes. <clears throat> so about 2 hours between the uh, the three games after Photonica. <laughs> so shall yeah. we call it here? And then next week we can finish the rest of this. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. Okay, we can throw this on... Actually, no, if we throw this on Saturday, the Saturday side, so it'd be a very short stream, probably. Yeah. So, yeah, let's take a look at anyone who may have been watching. Barilius ran at the hill at the wireframe runner. So, yeah, we can thank him all the same anyways. Come on, yes. <laughs> Come on. I get if uh, if anyone is watching live and I'm not uh, mentioning you, then it might be because I suspect you may be a bot or you are just not showing up in chat. Come on. Uh, game being not game, but the the app being obnoxious again. So let's see if there's anyone watching. And it's all bots. Which I should, I should probably just ban them. But, oh well. <clears throat> yeah. Even if we can't thank anyone else for watching, we can at least thank you, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome. And, yeah. <clears throat> In two days, I'll be starting with Giant Susan Kabuto as the mainstream. And, yeah. <laughs> That's that. So, as always, until then... Until then, be safe, folks. <clears throat>